uh, Hollister boxing. It's like it's I like it. It's, it's cool. It's nice. It's quiet. It's nice. It's great. Yeah. Like no, like no one knows about the spot. Like I, I like it over here. Um, I decided to box when I was seven, and then my grandpa, like me and him, always, always watches like boxing. So I decided to do it. Like it was, it, it, it looked fun. So I just did it. Uh, Hollister boxing. It's like it's. I like it. It's, it's cool. It's nice. It's quiet. Uh, I met the champ. He was seven years old when he first came to the gym. Yeah, he was a uh, he was a piece of work at first. He was kind of everywhere. He was from like you know everywhere, just wild. But I tamed him and I asked him if he wanted to do something because I was looking for somebody to train and no better way to get a little guy that wants to listen and learn. So I was just grabbed him and kind of just guided him through where we're at now. Like to the he's a seven-time national champion, so I feel really good and I'm proud of what he's been accomplished in this short time I've known him. I met him when he was seven. We really started training real hard when he was about eight. And uh, 44 fights later, we, we've been doing pretty good. My, my coach is a, is, is a good trainer. He's the best trainer. And like, he's, he's cool. He did, he did a lot of sports when he was young. And that's cool. Trouble, um, well, when I first put him in the ring, uh, he just went crazy. Like, he started throwing a lot of punches at the kids. And, uh, I knew that. I told, I basically told my friend, I said, hey, this kid's gonna give people trouble. And then he walked in the gym and I just started saying, trouble, as soon as he walked in, there he is, the trouble. And, and that was it. I didn't think anybody called him anything else different, but trouble. Uh, silver gloves, uh, golden gloves, and a, a, lot, a lot of uh, nationals. Um, my family, like, I want to do, like, I want to do a lot for them, like, because we're struggling. So, so, um, we, so I could, like, put, put them in the, like, so I could help them and then, like, a lot of stuff. Um, I think it's, it's like a journey that we started, like I said, when he was young. And, um, he's really serious. He's, he doesn't have a lot of words to say, like, about it, but he really, his, he's kind of one of those kids that, like, he does, he, his actions speak louder than his words. He comes, he trains super hard. He trains like three three hours a day. He's super dedicated. Um, he pretty much does whatever I tell him to do. He trusts me and I try to take that serious and guide him into the right guidance. Our goal is to be a world champion, like multiple world champion. I believe he can do it. Um, I really believe in him. I think I've put him in the ring with <laughs> pretty much everybody in the whole country. I've I've lined him up with kids, older, bigger, stronger. He's always held his own. He's always held his own. He's always done great. Um, like I said, his experience at 12 years old is amazing. He's been in the ring with the best in the country. Um, and he's always, always performed good. Like always, for me, he's always done great. I think there's one fight where I didn't like the way he fought. He was like nine, but <laughs> you can't be perfect. But as far as that, he's always done really good. And I'm very pleased. Five years from now, I'll be I'll, I'll be in the top number one.